Thank you. We begin this morning in Richmond, where high water is causing headaches for both residents and commuters. Portions of Route 2 reported to be underwater, with a closure from the I-89 exit 11 ramp to Richmond Village. Our Cam Smith joins us live in Richmond this morning to show us the scene. Cam, what do you see? Yeah, John and Alyssa, quiet out here right now. Obviously, not a lot of folks on the road just yet, but as we were driving into town here, certainly some spots that are covered in water. Right now, we're almost into Jonesville. As you can see off here behind me, kind of where this barrier is, you can see the water start to pool over the road. I'll step out of the way and uh, show you a little bit of what we're seeing here. Uh, but right now, the, uh, the roads are closed here in this area. You can see there on the ground, the water starting to pool up uh, over, over the roadway, of course, um, and certainly a concern if you're heading out, if you need to travel Route 2. Uh, this whole entire area right here of Route 2, almost into Jonesville again, shut down right now. I did uh, hear from folks with Swift Water Rescue. There was a water rescue here in Richmond uh, earlier this morning, uh, and those with uh, the Swift Water Rescue team here in the state, they tell me that this morning so far, they've seen about 40 Swift Water Rescues, but that that number is expected to rise. They tell me right now they have currently have rescues going on in Moortown area, Lindenville and Northfield. So they also say if you do need to travel today, definitely heed those warnings. If you see a road closure sign, don't drive through flooded waters, turn around and go the other way. Find another way to where you need to be. Definitely want to take it slow out here this morning. Drive safely and we'll continue to keep you updated here as we learn more throughout the morning. For now, live in Richmond, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News this morning.